Laporte teachers started the idea for a school garden over a year ago. Since then, things have changed to become even better. Jackson Bruner checked in with the district on this week's Golden Apple. Last fall, Laporte students picked a plentiful harvest in the school's backyard. Today, that space is pretty bare. But after raising $20,000 in the last half year... We raised about $7,000 via community donations. We have a couple of different grants. Teachers have big plans for the space. We are going to put some raised beds. We had the shop class, high school construction trades class, build five raised beds for us this last year and we're excited to get those out here. A greenhouse will be installed on the grass. There's also the possibility of holding classes outside. In this corner, we're going to have our um, outdoor classroom space. One of the high school shop classes right now is building us uh, three picnic tables that will go pretty much right where I'm standing. In preparation for an even bigger outdoor space, some of Laporte's younger students have joined a brand new garden club. The pepper. And they've learned quite a bit. This one's a spaghetti squash. This one's a sage. This one's a marigold. Okay. And this one, I heard that it keeps the deer away from your garden. This is a ground cherry. It kind of smells a little bit, maybe like, maybe a tomato when you bite into it. Everything the kids grow will either stay with students on the Laporte lunch line or go to people in need at the town's food shelf. Some of the people I've talked to who use the food shelf, they're actually suggesting things for us to plant, which is kind of nice. If they can't like buy them their own stuff and it's really really good to help them and i really 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 like it while giving back is important to everyone the teachers took time to reflect on why educating the kids matters too for me where it really hits home is when we have some of these things in the lunch line and they and they say those, those cucumbers grew in our garden i'll try some of those and uh you know they wouldn't try it if if they didn't have a connection to that whole process it's just fun to watch them be excited about those little things that we just see them every day. We're not excited about it anymore. So it's a whole new perspective. You get to relive that childhood and they are loving every minute of every seed coming up. It's pretty amazing. For this week's Golden Apple, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.